Hey everyone, Christine I see here and welcome back to the channel where I try to inspire you to go after your dreams or your bucket list items and go start living life on your terms. So welcome. Now, a few things today. We're just going to have a set, sit down chat and I'll show you a few clips of the car show we went to recently. But this week has been a, a doozer. I have to say for me this has to do more with self-care more of taking a step back and recollecting your thoughts like today is like the first day in about i would say since last week i feel like thoughts has been running through my head that don't need to be there and that it's like i feel like am I being left behind or am i not or am i not doing enough or am i you know or is it enough this week reminded me of I get every month because I've been getting migraines for three days straight and it's like it's almost debilitating and this one was really like I had to lie down I had to not look at computers not look at phones and just veg out and just really focus on shutting my mind down because I was like I felt like thoughts were just running, 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 like I had to go do something and it's like, no, I don't. I don't need to go do something. And I think this is the process of letting go, of letting go of, no, Christine, you don't need to go do this next or no nope, need to sign up for that next or just you need to take each day, each week, one step at a time. That's why I have not posted here on YouTube because of my week. I did take time to really dive into doing nothing. I had to, my head was going stop already and really eat well, get back to my fruits, get to back to my vegetables, hone down on cleaning out my system. I started juicing again which I really enjoy. It's, it's soothing because you, you make the juice on the spot and you drink it. And I like doing that. And it's kind of interesting of all the different tastes you can come up with. Now, also on that other self care was really, um, trying to shut down, really trying to journal, but sometimes even with a headache you've got going, you can't really focus on writing and the creative aspect is gone and you just, so I did skip a day in my journaling, but it's also, I also just really kept it super simple. And that's what sometimes I have to do just to shut down my head, just to shut down. I don't need to rush through things. I don't need to hurry. Things will get done when they get done. And I just have to remind myself that we're letting go. <laughs> we're letting go of the rush, rush, rush and start focusing on really taking in the day and taking the time to enjoy what I have around me. So I wanted to share this quote from the book that I'm currently still reading, <laughs> Stillness is Key by Ryan Holiday. I really enjoy this book. I cannot tell you how much I enjoy this book. And he has a quote in here. The chapter is titled Enough. The need for progress can be the enemy of enjoying the process. Now I want to dive into that a little bit more. If we always jump ahead or trying to rush through things or don't take the moment to absorb the process of everything that we do, the process of reaching a dream, the process of getting to that bucket list item, the process of buying certain things, if we don't realize what we're doing, we'll never progress as in growth, personal growth wise, to me, that uh, my understanding. And I love to, whenever I'm going through some type of hardship, some type of really negative aspect in my life or some really hard times, I look to the process of, when am I supposed to get out from this? When am I supposed to learn? Is there a learning lesson? Sometimes there's not always a learning lesson in any of it. It could be just a process of life to progress. 
like going through breast cancer, going through the passing of my mom, going through closing the business down, you know, those are not all highlights. It's, it's a process. I'm telling you, I've had to have a life coach, a sound healing coach. I've dove into actually here. I've used YouTube to help me heal through breast cancer to share my story. And that's what I do here in that's why you see a lot of just kind of odd odd um subjects here sometimes it's just sharing my life's life experiences and the dreams i've been able to accomplish even along the way through all the hardships or kind of the negative times in my life you have to get through it in order to grow <laughs> i have to say i've grown a lot in the last five years and that I'm truly embracing the process and where I'm at today. And I hope you are too. I hope you are kind of sitting back and taking life as it is right now. Don't try to jump forward too ahead. Don't try to always in the past. You don't want to do that. You just want to start living in the moment and enjoying the process. That leads me to the channel. I hope you are enjoying Matt's Corner. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll have another video coming up because he finished that tire rack. Crazy. <laughs> he's very quick and is so effective. Now he's gotta love him because he's doing it to support my channel. And his the van that he did definitely definitely skyrocketed that was the one video that did well on this channel and i'm i am so grateful because actually it made me realize i too even like the van life but we don't live in it part full time um we take trips we use it as a travel as our travel vehicle and then we either stay in it if we need to or we go and get to our destination at a hotel or a vrbo but having some of those luxuries as like the refrigerator a bed when you need them a sink that it just how it just works and that's what we like doing and even though the last trip if you didn't see the video of our vlog or of our travel vlog down to mississippi go check it out it is just one of even though it wasn't the best trip we still had time to have conversations and connect and because sometimes in the busy day-to-day -day, day work we lose connection we don't check in with each other and this van life travel life has always been a great way for my husband and i to check in give him kudos and hands up because he is supporting my channel and this is how he's supporting my channel is like giving his two cents because there's no way he would do it. Um, I edit his videos. And I am going to work on a better lighting for him and all the aspects of him getting out some videos. Because once the van comes in, it we'll have so much more. But we still know no updates on that. Kind of what's where the economy is right now. We got, I can't control that. But that's where that is it, at. Hey. We went to the Chicago car show at the McCormick Center. And it was, I, I'm always excited to go because it's good to see what's concept cars, prototypes, just what's out there. And I was excited to see what other brand, brands might have had or not. And it was kind of a disappointment. It really was. I. Just if you guys went to the Chicago car show, let me know if you went and you were disappointed because I was. There was a lot of dealer or not dealers car models that weren't there. Honda was not there. Acura, uh, Land Rovers, Discoveries, Mini, uh, Mercedes was not there because I I do like Mercedes. I don't know if I'd ever get one. Um, just a ton of brands not there i was disappointed so your bigger people were the toyota ford uh hyundai kia and um jeep those were the big players like usually the car show takes up two huge rooms of the mccormick center if you have not been there these rooms can be very very big well it only took up one room and it was kind of disappointing i have to say 
Actually, I was able to look at two cars that I'm possibly thinking of, but at this moment, I am not buying a car just due to the economy. I am looking at the Ford Maverick and the Hyundai Santa Cruz. So let me know if you have one, let me know what you think. I'd be curious what your thoughts are. Uh, I'm just, I'm not a big Ford person. I am a Honda person. I love Hondas. We are into Chevys. But, you know, you always have to break out of your comfort zone and maybe get a different model type of car. So, let me know what you think. If you have one or if you've heard any good things, bad things, let me know. I'd be curious because those are kind of what, uh, what I'm looking at. I might even wait till the 2023 models. I'm just not in a rush to get a new car because if you have been following me along, the beginning of the year, I did sell back my mini Clubman back to the dealer. And now I don't have a personal car, but I have been driving our farm truck. So, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't share with you. Forgot, at the car show, we got to see the Ford Transit and they had one out there. Now, it wasn't our specific model. This was the Ford E Transit. We ordered the Ford Transit gas model with the EcoBoost. This is the color that we got. It's the Abyss Gray high roof, but this is the extended model and we got the standard, the shorter 148 wheelbase. And we kind of got to step in it. Matt is already thinking if his calculations are right, what we'd be able to work in there or not, kind of get a feel for it. We're excited. And uh, that's that was kind of the neat part of the car show is we actually got to step inside a Ford Transit. So, <laughs> sorry, I hope you made it this far. Um, let me know, say hi, and uh, sending you all my love and hope you're having a great day. Later.